Hi, I'm Alan. Um, okay, well, in this episode, uh, we'll give you 10 tips for improving the student experience in Talon. Let's jump right in. Jumping in for tip number one, have a clear message welcoming students and directing them to course content. This can be done either through the announcement tool or consider a custom widget for more permanent positioning. And speaking of custom widgets, the second tip is having a custom course homepage, which can be created through course admin homepages. Take off any widgets that you will not be using and consider creating a widget specifically with instructor information. Next up is the course content tool. Inside the course content, the modules need to be well organized. So tip number three is to use a consistent organizational system for the modules. This could be by week, by chapter unit, or maybe type of content item, but just be consistent. Along with that, tip number four is to create meaningful module titles. Instead of just week one, explain what week one is. For example, week one, introduction to the course. And while you're organizing modules, tip number five is to avoid putting just one item in a module. It makes for extra clicks for students. On the flip side, if you have too much in a module, consider organizing with sub-modules. Tip number six, use the course calendar. The feedback that we have heard is that students really like the calendar for keeping themselves organized and planning due dates. The calendar tool integrates with the course contents tool and the free mobile app for students called Pulse. If you aren't using the calendar, it appears as if these elements are broken. If I haven't persuaded you, uh, make sure that your schedule is prominently displayed and also remove the calendar widget from the course homepage. If you use quizzes for your class, tip number seven is to set the submission views. By default, students don't see anything but their score when they submit. Consider adjusting the setting so they can review their quiz. If not immediately, then perhaps at a later date is set by you. Tip number eight. Consider using rubrics for graded assignments. In Talon, you can attach a rubric to a grade item or a content item. Tip number nine, be sure to keep up to date on entering zeros for unsubmitted work. Talon will only calculate the total based on the grades that have been entered, so students might think they're getting an A even if they're missing several assignments. At the end of the semester, consider checking the treat ungraded items as zero option. And lastly, tip number 10. Set yourself a reminder to release final grades or create a cumulative grade item. Instructions for how to do this can be found in our Talent Instructor Training course, and every instructor at Kirkwood should have access to this course. And if you'd like more hands-on training or design tips, check out our KSELD offerings. We offer open labs each month. And thanks for watching, and happy designing.